Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Edmonds. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. That way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. You are listening to The Morning Show on this Friday morning, and we're here with our featured artist of the week. It's been a fantastic week here on The Morning Show, and we have had a great time playing the music of these guys right here, the Glory Way Quartet, and my friend Justin Crank, founder of Glory Way. He's with us this morning. Justin, are you there? I'm here, and we're honored to be here. Well, Justin, I've been looking forward to this for a while. I've been wanting to have you guys on the show and the time and just fell in place and it just worked out. And I'm so glad that the morning show and glory way were able to connect this week. We've had a really good time playing your music. Well, thank you. And, and it's always an honor when folks play your music and we're so glad that the morning show is, has uh, played our music. We love the morning show and love what you're doing. Well, we love Glory Way Quartet as well, or Glory Way. I think we're in a transitional stage right now. So I've been saying Glory Way Quartet uh, this week. <laughs> we are quartet. We're, <laughs> we're just in the midst of transition right now. So, so it's okay if I slip and if I say the Glory Way Quartet, it's all right, right? Oh, yeah. Yep, as we all no hear problem. that good bass singing on the music we've been listening to this week, yeah. there's an excellent bass on there, and we like it a whole lot. Well, let's say this. Uh, the Glory Way Quartet, they've not only been in many showcases at the National Quartet Convention, and they performed at Dollywood, but in 2017 and 2018, they were nominated for Sunrise Quartet of the Year by Scoops Magazine and won that in 2018. So congratulations on that award. And they were also awarded Southern Gospel Artist of the Year by Southern Gospel New York. Now, I'm not familiar with Southern Gospel New York, but it sounds mighty impressive to me. So I say, go ahead, Glory Way Quartet. That's great. We're excited about that. Uh, we love what we do, and we, we actually sing in New York quite a bit. We love going up there. A lot of groups don't get to go up that way, and uh, we're close enough that we're able to, to go up there to minister up that way. That is outstanding. You're right. I mean, there's not just a whole, you don't think of New York as being a base for Southern gospel music or a place where you would go and hear a lot of Southern gospel music. So it's fantastic that you guys have an outreach up there and a platform up there. Uh, that's exciting, Justin. Tell us a little bit about Glory Way. Well, we started in 2002, um, mostly just traveling locally, regionally. 2012, we entered into a full-time ministry. Uh, we do about 220 dates a year, uh, 65,000 plus miles a year. Uh, we're probably one of the most busiest groups out there. Um, uh, we love what we do. We, we're not afraid to go and sing in the small church. Uh, we love the church family. That's our heart is, uh, is singing is singing and helping churches in rural areas, wherever the door opens. That's that's where you'll find glory. Away. Yeah, well, that's outstanding. We've got three members here. Justin Crank. Justin, you're the founder of the group, right? Didn't you kind of start it all? I did. I started with a friend back in, in, in 2002, like I guess I recently said uh, he uh, the traveling got a little too much for him. So he left things with yeah. me. Yeah, it's a hard uh, lifestyle. You know, yeah, to maintain that, uh, you know, all the time, it's it's very wearing on, on a person physically, emotionally, everything. And so it's, you know, it's not for everybody can just hang with that. So I'm sorry, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. Uh, so now we have Brian Langley. He's been with the group now for five years. He sings the tenor in the group. He does a wonderful job. And then John Cole from uh, West Virginia, he sings the baritone in the group. And he's been with us since 2014. Well, it's a good blend, my friend. It really is. And you're an outstanding lead singer. I, I love your voice. There's a, a distinct sound to your voice. And after you hear Justin Crank sing, you can spot that voice instantly. After you hear it, you're like, oh, that's Justin. Oh, that's Glory Way. So that's a good thing. And, and, and we like that sound here. Let's play one. We like this one. We've played it several times this week. The upbeat one, Go Tell the News. Can we play that one, Justin? Let's do it. I love this song. I do too. And it fits our show just great. Here it is. Our featured artist of the week, Glory Way Quartet, Go Tell the News. Jesus is alive. 
came up to the tomb, the stone was rolled away. She asked the man she saw nearby where Jesus had been laid. He called her by her name, and Mary knew it was the Lord. He sent her to Jerusalem to tell them what she saw. Go tell the news. Go tell the good news. Go on, tell everyone that Jesus is alive. Jesus waited to ascend And there unto his followers He gave just one command Go out to all the world Preaching in my name Making many disciples Till I come back again Go tell the news Go tell the good news Go on tell everyone that Jesus is alive He has risen from the grave From death and hell your soul to save Go tell the news Go tell the news Go tell the good news Well, we love that song, Go Tell the News by the Glory Way Quartet. Uh, Justin, there's one thing that I wanted to say today and point out that, and I don't know you guys personally. Now, you and I, we've kind of connected uh, on social media, messaged back and forth. So I I feel like we're friends. And I did meet you for the first time this week. Look, I was at the Absolutely Gospel Music Awards in Franklin, Tennessee on Tuesday night. And I was there and I turned around. And the two rows back, I saw you and I looked at my sister and I said, there's our featured artist of the week right there. <laughs> and we'd never met. And I just jumped up and came and hugged your neck like, like we had just known each other forever. But I was extremely impressed meeting you in person, not only with your music, but you're just a super nice guy. And I, I've noticed this since I have been the last few months, I've been exposed to Glory Way Quartet and I've been kind of watching things. Here's what I have noticed so much about your group. And that is your fan base. Anytime that I see something that is some kind of award or recognition that is nominated by fans, if it's fan based, you can be guaranteed that the Glory Way Quartet is going to be represented in that. And here's what it tells me. It tells me that you are good to people. You're kind to people. You're respectful to people. You love on people. When you go in those churches that you go to and you go in and you minister to them, well, you go in like you love those people. And it just makes a difference because these people not only like your music, but Justin, they like you. They like you guys. And it's obvious because they are such loyal fans. And that says a lot about who you are. You know, we go into the church and and we just try to be ourselves. We try to be a blessing and we try to listen to folks because a lot of folks will come back and and they want you to listen. And we always try to lend an ear and and just try to be a help to these folks and uplift them. You know, we're living in a time right now that's just, it's just tough. It's different. It's different than anybody's ever seen. And uh, we, we need to try to be an uplift while we're there with these folks. Yeah, that's the truth. And I know that different groups not every group's in a position to do the same thing. I, I totally mm-hmm. get that. And it, and everybody's personality is not the same. But when you can go into a concert or you can walk into a church and just meet those people and spend a little time, Justin, sometimes those people have gone to great lengths to get there. And sometimes they're on their last leg and they're limping and they're, they've been wounded. And they just need Mm -hmm. to be loved on and ministered to. And even though I've never sat in one of your concerts, I've watched it on Facebook and YouTube. And I just have a feeling that when your group comes in, that that's what they do. They minister to wounded and hurting people. And I am greatly impressed and appreciative of that. Thank you so much. Justin, is there a favorite Glory Way song that you would like us to play this morning? I do have a favorite, but I'm going to give you a chance to tell us your favorite. Well, my favorite is probably God, You're Amazing. Yeah. Um, a guy that lives in Akron, Ohio, about an hour from us, 
uh, had sent us this song. He'd sent us a bunch of songs, but as soon as I heard this song, it just touched me. It spoke to me. It was just one of those songs I knew right away that I wanted to sing because you know what? God is amazing. He loved me enough uh, to die on an old rugged cross. He thought enough of me and everyone else. What an amazing God that he is, his mercy and his grace. Absolutely. Well, let's play that one. Did you say who wrote this or do you know? Paul, Paul Bowen wrote this. Um, okay. Actually, Paul Bowen works with Les Butler uh, and uh, that is how we had gotten connected uh, with Paul and his writings. Well, we love Les Butler. He was just on the show on Wednesday. He spent some time on the morning show and we just think he's a great guy. So if he's connected to Les, hey, we like him. Here it is, <laughs> the Glory Way Quartet, God, You're Amazing. It's a great song. Here it is. Think you were thinking of me as your son died that day. To think how he suffered so my sins would be washed away. A love that could not be contained. Ultimate price that was paid. God, you're amazing. You're never changing. I have new hope since you've given me life. And I can see clearly because you live in me. The truth is revealed through your Son, Jesus Christ. Christ paid for me, and I will forever see God, you're amazing. God, you're amazing. The love you have shown, let it flow from the depths of my soul. Surrender to you for control. I surrender, surrender. I give to you all of my praise. And forever I worship your name. God, you're amazing. You're never changing. I have new hope since you gave.
Justin, I agree with you. That's a great song. Well, thank you. There's another one that we've been playing a good bit on the morning show, and I believe that it's the latest single that Glory Way has put out. Uh, it's one that just caught my attention the first time I heard it, and it's called Nothing He Cannot Do. I want you to take a minute or two. Tell us about this song, where you got it from, how it touches people, how it touched the Glory Way Quartet. Tell me about the song, Nothing He Cannot Do. Uh, this song was written by Lee Black, and uh, it's just a wonderful song. You know, there's nothing too small. There's nothing that catches him off guard. There's nothing too big for him, and there's absolutely nothing that he cannot do. You know, I love the words of this song. It, 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 it helps people that are in different challenging situations and gives them comfort and peace knowing that he's a big God. Yeah. Well, you said a lot when I didn't realize that Lee Black wrote the song. I just knew that it was a good song and that I liked it. Lee Black's a terrific songwriter. Oh, he's he has been touched by the master. He just knows how to do it. Yeah, yeah. And there's 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 a few of those out there, and he's one of them. Look, here's the latest single from our featured artist of the week, the Glory Way Quartet. The song was written by Lee Black, and that says a lot right there. Here it is, Nothing He Cannot Do. Ever got that call in midnight that turns your world upside down? It leaves you speechless, it just leaves you speechless. Ever had your dreams crushed, scattered on the ground in shattered pieces, just shattered pieces? And when you get that kind of news, it breaks your heart in two. When you're feeling like there's nothing you can do, don't give in, don't give up, hold on to God. When times are tough, it's out of your
nothing he cannot do. Well, Justin, I want to tell you that we've had a good time featuring the Glory Way Quartet this week. I'm so honored and glad that you came on the show. Thank you for taking some time on this early Friday morning to be on the morning show. I appreciate you being here. Oh, it's such an honor to be with you, Natalie. And uh, we love what you're doing and, and, we're, and we're proud of you. Well, I appreciate that. Look, there's a song. I don't think it, well, I know that it, it's not an original to the Glory Way Quartet, but this song right here, when I heard you guys sing it, I was looking, looking through some of your music, just li you know, listening to bits and pieces. And when I heard this, I just about had a spell. When I was a little girl, I would hear Charles Johnson and the Revivers sing this song. And of course, you know, they had their own distinct style and their own distinct oh, yeah. sound, you know, and it cannot be uh, imitated, really. Yeah, that was just unique to them. But let me tell you, I have never heard the song sung any better then the Glory Way Quartet sings this old song right here. I know what lies ahead. I've probably played it every day this week on the show. Every time I hear it, I just cannot get enough of this song. Let me tell you, you guys nailed this song. I don't know if you sing it live or not, but you ought to. We do. Yeah, don't ever do a concert when you don't sing this song. <laughs> it, the audience loves this song. It, it's just got a good drive to it. And then what a message it has. And then, of course, when you add the bass part in there folks just love that you know oh it's amazing and there's another one that i've been hearing y'all sing on facebook but i could not find a recording of it now you can tell me if i'm wrong but there's well who i used to hear sing it was johnny minnick the song that's huh? no hill for a climber that's another one you guys tear up you uh have y'all recorded that we have you don't have a, you don't i, I don't don't have to have get that it. to you Oh, I would play. You got to get that to me. I, I, I will send it over right away. I looked on <laughs> iTunes. I've looked on uh, YouTube. Now, maybe I'm just not looking in the right place, but I could not find it. I could yeah, not. Johnny find Minnick that. wrote that song. I, I thought yeah. maybe he did, but I've heard him sing it for years and years and years. And that's another one that has a distinct style. And see, it's, it's a little risky when you take uh -huh. songs like that that are so known to who first did them and were, and were, you know, they were had that distinct style like that, but you guys can just do it. You can take those songs and put your spin on it and just sell it and knock it out of the park. You did that one. Send it to me, Justin. We'll play it. I love it. I'll do it. I'll do it right away. I wish I had it to play today, but I don't, but that'll give us something to look forward to next week. A new one coming from the glory way quartet next week. As soon as Justin sends it to me, Justin, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll do it again sometime. Here, we're going out with Glory Way Quartet. I know what lies in here. Thanks, Justin. This road I'm on is straight and narrow, but it leads to a better home. It was laid by Christ one day at Calvary while he suffered all alone. This road may lead over many high mountains and valleys dark and low. But I'll walk each day with sweet assurance and safely reach my home. Ahead, ahead, there's joy and gladness and rest for the weary soul. There's peace and contentment, everybody will be happy and whole. I know that I'll be, I'll be at home with Jesus where tears will never be shed. Though so often this road gets rough and rocky, still I know what lies ahead. Why oh, home this road? I get so weary, and often my feet would stray. But a gentle hand still leads me homeward, helps me find a way. As I climb each hill and cross each valley, by his hands I'm daily led. But I won't look back, gonna keep on walking, for I know what lies ahead. And rest for the weary soul Ahead, ahead There's 
peace and contentment, everybody will be happy and whole. I know that I'll be, I'll be at home with Jesus where tears will never be shed. Though so often this road gets rough and rocky, still I know what lies ahead. and contentment, everybody will be happy and whole. I know that I'll be, I'll be at home with Jesus where tears will never be shed. No, so often this road gets rough and rocky, still I know what lies ahead. No, so often this road gets rough and rocky, still I know what lies ahead.